savageorlandomagic.com. Cliff, I, I know the practice time is a valuable commodity these days. Uh, what, were, what were you guys able to, to accomplish and do today? Um, actually, a lot of just like organizational things, um, you know, uh, more offensive and, uh, you know, just a ton of skill work, too. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Steve, what's your sense of the team's confidence level uh, and how does that play into whether a team plays well? I think that oh, I, th I don't think in our league. I think a belief in uh, a belief in how you're playing, um, what you can achieve, uh, what kind of team you can become. I don't think there's anything more important than that. And um, I think that uh, you know, look, as you guys know, for all of us, it's a different year. There are more mental uh, challenges involved in this, with you know, the pandemic, the testing. Uh, the way we're, we're doing everything. Um, but the, the reality is, is that the teams that handle it best mentally will have the best chance to uh, play well on game night also. Josh, do you have a follow-up? Do you feel like their confidence has been shaken at all the last, since Markel went down? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, I think you can see it, right? I mean, I think that's usually where frustration, uh, uh, you know, comes into play. And I mean, you know, look, that's, that's part of my job. Um, we're good enough to win. Um, well, we're not going to win 50 games, but uh, we're good enough to win. But again, I mean, I think the point is, is, you know, we, we talked about it last night after the game. And then again, today is, you can, there's always ways you can get better in the NBA. Always, always. They're terrific players. They're older. They have talent. And the, the one thing that I also reminded them today, we've been here before. You know, last year we had one game better record than we did this year. And, you know, we got smashed a few times last year early in the season too. Um, the difference is what we're not doing now is we're not committing at the defensive end the way we have the first two years, you know? And I'm talking about the simple thing, getting our defense set, the defensive rebounding part, and then the, the, the paint protection part, you know? And if we do those three things, then we're going to give ourselves a chance to win almost every night. Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. Steve, just to kind of follow up on that a little bit, in terms of the half-court defense, um, trying to, to protect the paint a little more. And obviously it would depend on who you're playing, but are, are you thinking about maybe playing a little bit more zone to kind of help you in those areas a little bit? I mean, you know, you can play it now and then. I mean, I, you know, like, I, look, I, I think this is we can, we can do all these things, you know. I, I'm not too gimmicky, as you know. I mean, like, to me, you know, um, we've been blitzing more. We've tried a little zone. It hasn't been very good for us. Um, we really don't have, you know, if you look at the teams that play zone better, it's built on size. Um, we did a big study on that two summers ago. If you look at the, the lineups on the floor when Miami goes zone, they're huge. They're big, and they're big on the perimeter. We don't have really a way to do that. So that's the one part. The other thing is, if you're going to get it good on defense, is you've got to be good at some base things. Our biggest problem, our pick and roll defense, actually by the numbers, pretty good. Both high and side, good. We are, we are our individual defense, you know, and it shows with the deflection numbers, is the ability to control the ball um, is what's hurting us the most. And you got to do that man or zone. So to me, um, a wise man once said, working for the Knicks, let's not try to be the New York tricks. Let's try to be the New York Knicks, and that's my mentality. Let's let's do what we're capable of doing. If it's not good enough, then we can try other things. Josh Cohn, OrlandoMagic.com. Hey, Coach. Aside from the three-point shooting, since you've become coach of the Magic, where else have you seen Vooch improve his game in different areas? Uh, well, I mean, I think that most people say he's a much better defender you know, than he, than, than maybe he had been in the past. Um, 
you know, I, I, you know, I don't know so much. The three point shooting is the biggest thing that stands out to me. He's always been obviously a good post up player. Um, and he, you know, right away you could see he may get more assists and stuff like that because he plays out on the perimeter more, but the majority of the things that he's doing well, besides the three point shooting, I just think it's, it's, you know, where he's playing, you know, in these three years, the league has continued to evolve into more of a five out league and he fits right into that. He's, he, he's a terrific decision maker. He has super high IQ and he can both shoot and pass. Josh Robbins, the athletic. Steve, what have you seen from Aaron Gordon on the offensive end the last couple of games? Well, I mean, you know, not as good, obviously, and he knows that, he, you know, he hasn't played as well as he did in the games previous to that. Um, you know, and again, I mean, he's playing a lot, uh, you know, at the point, which is new for him. Um, he's trying to mix in, you know, organization with, you know, being aggressive and creating and, um, you know, those are, are some of the growing pains that we're going through. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Cliff, you guys are preparing for two straight games uh, against the Raptors. What are what are some of the things or that that team and challenges that they present? Well, I mean, the thing for us is obviously we've really struggled to score against them. You know, they're super aggressive defensively. Uh, great with their hands they create a lot of easy offense with their defense and you've got to be able to get shots you know they're they're relentless and uh you know there's things that you know we've played them so much you know counting the playoff series i feel like that we have a an idea of what we want to do um but again you have to execute you've got to play with great offensive uh you know force and purpose and you have to do it for the whole 48 minutes Josh Robbins, The Athletic. How is MCW, Steve? Yeah, he won't be. I mean, he's, he's you know, again, he had that setback, and, you know, he won't be uh, – he definitely won't be playing. I, I don't think either of these two games. All right. Thank you, Cliff.